This is a true depiction of what people think vegans eat. Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my wee corner of the World Wide Web. We are filming another 24 hour food challenge video today. We're gonna be only eating food from McDonald's for 24 hours, but vegan. It is actually currently lunchtime because we did miss the cutoff for breakfast. Have no fear because breakfast will be coming tomorrow morning. Arguably, McDonald's breakfast is the best thing about McDonald's. So we're saving the best till last. So it's lunchtime and I'm actually gonna be trying, I'm gonna be trying something that I haven't really tried before. What I'm away to order could quite possibly Possibly be the saddest McDonald's meal ever known to existence. I'm ordering it on my phone before I go to the drive-thru because I'm too ashamed to order it verbally. I'm just gonna do a mobile order to save that embarrassment. We're gonna be ordering a salad. I've never in my life ever ordered a salad from McDonald's. To be honest, I think the people that do order salads from McDonald's are slightly psychopathic, but today we're, we're being a psycho. So I'm gonna go for veggie dippers. I haven't had these in a while. I just, I prefer anything else on the menu. We're going for sweet and sour dip, but I am actually gonna try try and ask them for one of each dip. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be annoying, but they're veggie dippers, you know? I want things to dip them into. And then for the side, we're going for the side salad. Have you ever sound anything so enthralling in your entire life? I think not. It comes with balsamic dressing. Obviously, we're going to get the dressing. I need a coffee. McDonald's still have not implemented any kind of dairy-free plant-based alternative milks, so we're gonna have to go with the black coffee, which would not be my first coffee preference, but that's just what we're gonna have to go with. Someone is gonna look at this order and be like, are you okay? But don't worry, because we're ordering something else, and we're gonna treat ourselves to a pineapple stick. 89p for a pineapple stick. Are you joking? This is like the healthiest McDonald's meal I've ever had in my entire life, by the way. Why do I feel nervous? I hate going through drive throughs Ah! Uh Mark will be making an appearance at dinner time when he's home from work. But for now, you're stuck with me. I need to demist my windows, holy crap. Probably should have done that before. I headed off. This just feels a bit chaotic now. Hi there, what can I get for you? Hiya, I've got a mobile order to pick up. Yeah. So the drive through is not busy, which is good. That all happened very quickly, very fast. Not really enough time for me to kind of handle that, to be honest with you. Thank you. Could I also get a barbecue and sweet curry as well? That's great, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. We're waiting on the veggie dippers. Swell. But we did get my pineapple stick. Goodness, that was nerve-wracking. Hey up, I'm back. We have our goods. I did have to wait like a solid 10 minutes or so for the veggie dippers, but it's okay, because we have them now. It's actually, it's currently snowing. I was supposed to be driving to Aberdeen today, but there's crazy storm warnings, yellow warnings, orange warnings, all kinds of warnings. So I thought, hey, let's not drive to Aberdeen today. Let's go to McDonald's instead. <laughs> First, we have coffee. It's black coffee, which is um depressing. Oh, can you catch a glimpse of it? It is black coffee. I mean, it's not the most exciting thing you've ever seen in your life. However, I have become prepared for this endeavour today. Brought my own milk, didn't I? We've got some Wunda! This milk, by the way, is actually very, I think I've mentioned it in another video, but it's very, very close to like semi-skimmed milk or something like that. Actually, before I put the milk in, I also brought my own sweetener. <laughs> I did in fact bring my own syrup. Is this a bit extra? Probably. I didn't want a plain old boring black coffee, okay? I'm just, I'm spicing up my coffee a bit. Allow it. This is the peanut butter cup skinny foods syrup. Little duck. Actually, should I taste test it? I'll taste test it before I put all this stuff in it. McDonald's coffee is actually quite decent. Um, I just wish they had dairy free milk. It's my only qualm. Right. Oh my god, that is so much, that's miles better. Black coffee was still alright though. <laughs> So here's my spiced up black coffee. And now let's get on to the food. We know me, I'm a saucy gal. So I basically got, I got every single dip. Oh, I should have got, I should have got a sweet chili dip. They're an extra 20p, which is a bit of a farce by the way, because obviously you get the sweet chili dip free with like the chicken goujon. What are they called? Chicken selects. You get it free with that, but you don't get it free with veggie dippers. What's up with that McDonald's? I got two sweet and sour dips, two barbecue dips, and I got two sweet curry dips. I didn't get ketchup. Ketchup with veggie dippers just sounds a bit weird. However, the McDonald's ketchup is, fun fact, all of the dips and sauces from McDonald's are vegan, apart from the smoky barbecue big 
pots that you get with the select. That has honey in it and obviously the sour cream and chive one isn't vegan. But the sweet chilli dip is vegan and all of these are vegan and the ketchup's vegan so we can have all the saucy fun that we want. I wonder how often in the day McDonald's actually make these side salads, especially here in Scotland. We don't really eat salad in Scotland. That was maybe a generalisation. I mean, <laughs> I don't really eat it. The side salads comes with this balsamic dressing. I'm just gonna double check. Yes, it is in fact vegan. Sorry, health queen who? Grand reveal of our salad. Ooh. It looks like salad, would you believe it? Actually, it looks kind of fresh. One pound nine, something like that. You know, there's, there's a few cucumber slices in there. I think there's just one tomato slice. Oh, I've dropped an onion. They could have filled the box up like. It's salad. The lettuce looks okay. The lettuce looks like lettuce. This is a true depiction of what people think vegans eat just rabbit food. I'm not gonna try it naked. If you have salad without dressing, again, you're a psychopath. So let's put this balsamic dressing all over that beef. I have a feeling this balsamic dressing is gonna be good. I do love me a balsamic. I'm just gonna put it all on because life's too short not to use all the salad dressing. And there we have our salad balsamic ties. Let's give the salad a whirl. Maybe this will turn me into actually ordering healthy meals for McDonald's. I don't think it will, but um, we'll see. Bit of lettuce. How enthralling. Um, maybe a cucumber with it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the salad from McDonald's. Bon apple teeth. It is surprisingly fresh. I'm not gonna lie. That was gonna be a bit meh. Wait. I'm incorporating the balsamic vinegar. Oh, there we go. I'm incorporating it into all the leaves, you know? It's decent. If I was, for whatever reason, wanting a salad out and about, 4 99 for a coffee, a salad with dressing, and then your veggie dippers in your sauce. 4 99 is actually all right for all that. I'm actually not mad about it. <laughs> The lettuce is surprisingly good. Salads with iceberg lettuce are always just so sad, but the, I don't know what kind of lettuce this is, but it's not iceberg. Also, could they not have chopped up the tomato? Why would I eat a whole tomato? Tomato's a tomato. They've also put some onion in there. I don't know if that's supposed to be in the salad, but I'll take it. Salad would rate it, I mean, for the price, the value. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. I keep getting spam phone calls. Does anyone get that? For what it is, right? It's, a, it's a it's all right. Give me an eight out of ten for what it is. Compared to everything else from McDonald's, um, maybe a four out of ten. But for what it is, it does the job of what it is. You know. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the veggie dippers, the more exciting part of the meal. I haven't had these in ages. Everyone was like, "Oh my gosh!" when these came out, and I was just like, "Aren't they the things that go in the wrap?" Oh, they're very, very crispy. These are freshly cooked. We'll start off with sweet and sour because I haven't had McDonald's sweet and sour in a hot minute. Do people still say that? Hot minute. I don't know which end to go with. We'll go with this thin end. See, they are good. Again, for what they are, they're pretty good. And you know what? Before the McPlant came onto the scene, I did enjoy these. I actually, I filmed a video a couple days ago with Mark, which is probably up on my channel already. We did the ultimate vegan fast food tier list and I absolutely slated these. But I'm not gonna lie, they're not, they're not that bad. <laughs> they're actually quite good. This could be because this is my first meal of the day and I'm quite hungry. So um, let's bear that in mind. We're going in with a barbecue dip. I've actually been on a bit of a barbecue sauce hype lately, which isn't like me. Hmm. Barbecue sauce, good, good, good. Kind of pisses me off that you only get four though. I don't know why, but that just seems like not very much to me. Oh, we've saved my favorite till last. Apart from the ketchup, this one's my favorite, I think. I also like the sweet chili. I should have got the sweet chili. Sweet curry. Oh, baby. Oh, they're all good. All the sauces are good. Here's like a cross section of the veggie dipper. If you don't know what a veggie dipper is, neither do I. Hold on. I'm pretty sure they're like red pepper goujons or some boring thing like that. A tasty blend of red pepper and sun-dried tomato pesto, all coated in crispy golden breadcrumbs. That's what they are. They're basically bougie vegetable fingers. I don't know about you, but when I first went like vegan veggie in 2015, I ate a lot of falafel, a lot of Linda McCartney sausages, and a lot of vegetable fingers. This was back in first year of uni, so I was eating like a uni student. I'm talking as if I don't eat like a uni student now. Anyway, I ate a lot of the, I think it was the Tesco brand specifically, the vegetable fingers. Loved them. These are basically just bougie veggie fingers. Excuse me. There's a very angry sounding bird there. I think there's a bird on my car. Did you hear that? I wish I had one of those like, uh, sunroof window so you can see the bird but i do not mm, the coffee is superb i was gonna originally like chuck my veggie dippers on the salad but i think they work better separately i wouldn't really eat these plain 
they're all right, but they need the sauce. They need the, the dunkable experience. Let me know what your favorite McDonald's thing is down in the comments below. I'm very excited for dinner. I'm having something that I've had before, but I'm like doing something new to it. Can't decide which sauce is my favorite with the veggie dippers. The sweet and sour is like very subtle. Mm, the barbecue's good. I think the barbecue might be my favorite actually. They're all good though. Preferably I would like to have all of the dips with this meal But if I had to choose one, I'd maybe I'd probably choose barbecue or sweet curry But then the sweet and sour is nice as well. Just it depends what mood you're in. Lovely chubbly. Okay I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this I would eat it again I finished my meal and it's safe to say that it did not fill me up as I said have no fear because we do have desserts a wee pineapple stick because we deserve it. This is 80 grams of pineapple. It is very clearly branded for kids, but I am a big kid, so we'll accept it. Juicy and delicious pineapple stick. One of your five a day. I remember when I was younger, they used to have like the little bags of. Oh gosh, there's someone next to me. They used to have the little bags of apples and grapes, but they don't have them anymore. They just they have carrot sticks. There was no way on this planet I was gonna get carrot sticks. Ooh, it's like, it's a proper chunk they give you. It's quite dense. So this is what the pineapple stick looks like. It's quite thick. Let's go in. Why is it not like chopped up or something? We're in line. It is juicy and it is quite delicious. <laughs> I didn't want to like the healthy things at McDonald's, right? They're actually quite good. You can't see out the window, but the snow. No, you can't see that snow, can you? Just trust me that it's it's snowing out there. Oh my gosh, now there's snow in the car. It's snowing. Pineapple stick? You know what? We'd probably eat it again. 89p though, it's the same price as a hash brown. I know which one I'd rather have out of them two. Can you see the snow? Anyway, that was lunch. It was alright. I'm still hungry though, but I guess we'll just wait for dinner. Good evening. It is dinner time. We can all guess what I've gone for. I've obviously gotten a McPlant, which I've had about 17 times already since it came out at the beginning of January. But I haven't just gotten one McPlant. Oh no, I've gotten two. One of the McPlants, I got a medium meal. So I got some fries, obviously. No more of the salad crepola that we had earlier. And I'm trying a new drink that I've never tried. I'm trying the Oasis. I assume it's going to be like Ribena. And basically what I'm going to do... Mark's here, he's also eating McDonald's, Hi. but he's leaving. Anyway, where was I? With these two McPlants, we're going to make a Big Mac. Because I've seen people do this on Instagram, and I wanted to do it for this video. So that's what we're going to do. But first, let's try the Oasis. <coughs> that's actually quite tasty. Mmm, that's nice. I'll probably get that again. Are the chips good today? Let's assemble the Big Mac. Here we go, here's the glorious McPlant. And now we're gonna make it into a Big Mac. A vegan Big Mac. Oh my gosh, they put so much mayo. There is a lot of mayo on there. Let's chop off and then put it on there like so. Wow. And there we have a vegan Big Mac. Don't know how I'm gonna fit this um, into my gob. I have an extra burger bun top here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. My shove some chips in it. Let's taste test our DIY vegan Big Mac. <coughs> very, very good. One thing is though, it's very messy. This is pretty good. We'll take our extra burger top bun and we'll shove some chips in it. A mini chip sandwich, because one of the best part about McDonald's is the bun. You best believe I'm not wasting this bun. <coughs> Chef's keys. Oh my gosh, this is difficult to pick up though. I'm actually pretty full after that double McPlant, but I do have a little dessert item. Obviously, I had to get myself an apple pie. Oh, it's very crispy. These have always been vegan, I think. Once upon a time, the only vegan things that you could get from McDonald's was this and their fries. I'm still drinking my Oasis. It's actually quite good. I might get this more often because something has happened to McDonald's Diet Coke. Apple pie. <laughs> Mm. Very crispy, very well. And there is the filling. Good morning. It is the next day. We are heading back to McDonald's for breakfast. I'm still half asleep. I rolled out of bed pretty much 10 minutes ago. I actually ended up having quite a sore tummy after my dinner yesterday, but I think I'm feeling better today. It was snowing yesterday, but you wouldn't be able to tell because um, the sun is shining and it's actually quite a calm day this morning. Oh, I'm passing Starbucks as well. Kind of want a Starbucks, not gonna lie. 
Hey, can I take an order, please? Hiya, can I just get three hash browns, please? It's funny, because this McDonald's is usually packed with people every single time I go. But the two times I have went in this video, it hasn't been busy, which is quite nice. I was going to get a coffee, but I could be bothered. kind of want to make my own nice coffee at home. Hey, can I get some ketchup as well, please? Yeah. Uh, one's fine, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, baby, it is really sunny. I've got my hash browns and I'm going to put them in my belly. Hello friends, let me just... Oh, I know why it's warm, because my car heating's on. If you heard the order, it is hash browns. Here's a vegan fast food McDonald's breakfast hack for you all. Sometimes I do like to get a plain toasted muffin and make a little hash brown McMuffin type scenario. Wasn't feeling that today. Let's just take a bite. That's the stuff. Dip your hash brown in your ketchup. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Mm. I haven't really been doing much talking, I've just been eating this half brown. I'm just having a good time. Someone has parked directly opposite me and I feel like we're gonna have awkward eye contact. I'm on to my second hash brown by the beautiful, absolutely sensational. We're on to the last hash brown. Not gonna lie, kind of excited to make a smoothie when I get home. Feeling a bit greasy. This wasn't exactly a difficult challenge for me. Hope you've enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see me do this with any other fast food places. Drop a like below if you haven't already. Appreciate you all. I'm gonna eat this last bite of hash brown right here with this last scoop of ketchup. And as always, it's been a pleasure and I will see you in the next one.